Dynasty Superflex, okay? T. Higgins and the 110. So T. Higgins and the 110. Four, Zay Flowers and the 108. Give me the T. Higgins and the 110. T. Higgins 110? Yeah. You didn't like what Zay Flowers, was that not good enough for you? I like Zay Flowers more. I think I like T. Higgins more than I like Zay Flowers a lot. Um, Why is that? Because T. Higgins has not had the opportunity to be the number one receiver. Uh, I think that they're trying to convince him to stay, and then they're going to force him the ball. So he's young. They're going to force him the ball. Because right, so, really, there's only a year and a half between Zay Flowers and T. Higgins. Because T. Mm-hmm. Higgins is that young coming in. And then the 108, 110, because it's super flex, you're really going to be able to get either a, a wide receiver anyway. Because all those quarterbacks are going to go early. Yeah. So you probably still end up getting, you know, a chance at Malik Neighbors or Roman Dunze, no matter either one, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go I'm gonna go opposite from you, man. I mean, because you could get at eight. Zay Flowers is still on a contract right now. Yeah. And because it is super flex. There's going to be five QBs taken probably in the first five, which gives me one of those top three receivers. Yeah, you, so I'm going to have two good receivers rather than I'm not knowing what that one team or, might be. Or I end up with Brock Bowers and T. Higgins. Um, yeah. I don't, I don't know. I'll take the Zay Flowers or the 108 because he's still going to be with – he's going to be with uh, freaking Lamar. Lamar for the next two years. That I know mm-hmm. of. T. Higgins may go somewhere. Like, you're taking that risk of him not being there. I get it. He's going to be good this year, right? They're going to feed him the ball. That's exactly how you said. But next year? Even as Matt, T. Higgins going to be a possible number one somewhere? Yeah, but, will... if, if, yeah, but what if he goes to the Jets? Doesn't matter. I think T. And Higgins. And then Aaron Rodgers is gone. What if Aaron Rodgers is gone? You have no quarterback. He has those two places. That's my he, point. That's my point. He has to sign that deal. So he's not, like, going somewhere they, like they're trading him. He has to sign that deal. So he gets to choose what court, what uh, quarterback he's playing with. So I'm thinking T. Higgins, no matter what, is going to be that number one, um, number one guy. At one one ten, I just, I believe that Zay Flowers is going to have a, a little bit more difficult time now that Mark Andrews is coming back because now they have two really good tight ends mm-hmm. that you have to play both of them. Mm-hmm. So that's less catches available. So I, I think that you're going to get more out of T. Higgins. But – Either way, it's not like you're hurting yourself because Zay Flowers is your number one receiver. He's just not a one, number one receiver. He's the number one receiver for that team. Or he's really the number two because Mark Andrews becomes the number one receiver the way they do things. That's interesting. Because I disagree. I think I will take the Zay Flowers one away. But that, that you have a strong argument. I, you really do. I don't – I'm not – I understand what the one away too. <laughs> so. but, but I'd rather take Zay Flowers – knowing that he is the number one there right now with Lamar and he's got another two years left and the 108 is going to be a nice rookie that I could have two decent receivers or wherever that 108 is. So I, I wonder, because I, I will be afraid to have Zay and Malik neighbors as much as I like him, you know, me with shorter receivers. Yeah, but you start them both. Yeah, but I'm sorry. I don't like two of the guys that are shorter receivers um, that aren't, the, the, ball, the ball to throw the ball up in the air. That. Type Look, of that. I like last that guy. Three years, the oh. last three years, these short these short dudes have been doing pretty hey, freaking good. I'm almost you're not wrong because DJ Moore is my dude now. Look, and he's look, amazing. And he's only re- six feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> these receivers have been doing pretty good. And some of these running backs have been doing pretty good. Like, I don't think that like if these guys can meet the potential skill, why does it even matter? Not, I get it. It's an old school mind thing. You might be thinking. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I I, I like like it, we're talking about wide receivers. Give me Marvin Harrison Jr. I want the six four dude. Well, as long as we're talking about you both young, I want the the taller dude. I just I trust that more. Yeah, but what if the one away is Roma Dunze? What if it's Harrison? You, then, if it's if it's Roma Dunze, then you win because that means not you if you've already Dunze taken the Higgins one ten trade though. Yeah, but That's what I'm saying. That, like for me, that changes it. That changes. It. I think Roma Dunze and Zay Flowers is a better package than the Brock Bowers and uh, T Higgins. Mm-hmm. If you get Roma Dunze, I just don't know if 
that if it's too much for me, I know I could, I'm going to get a 110. Mm-hmm. 